Hello friends, this video on molecular basis of inheritance part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so now we got an idea about the structure of DNA. Now the question is where is the DNA located? Now I already discussed in the very first slide when we started this lesson that DNA is located inside the nucleus. Now if we try to calculate the length of the DNA, it is found that it is far greater than the dimension of a typical nucleus. That is so strange, right? Because it, it is something like, let us suppose you have a house to stay and your size is bigger than the size of the house. So in that case, will you be able to stay inside that house? No, right? Because um, the house will not be able to accommodate you. It is something like uh, you, when, when you were kids, you used to play with baby dolls, right? The dolls. So those dolls used to have their small house. So the small house was good enough for the doll, but you cannot stay in that house because that was very small for you. Now, in a very similar way, if you talk about the packaging of DNA, now if the size of DNA is going to be greater than the size of the nucleus, then how will the DNA fit into the nucleus? Now, before we get into this, that discussion, first let us try to look at calculating the length of DNA. How long is DNA? So let us try to calculate the length of DNA. Now just now we saw that how the DNA is actually organized. It is organized in the form of base pairs. So by looking at the number of base pairs, we can actually estimate the length of DNA. So greater is the number of base pairs, greater would be the length of DNA. So that is a common logic. So now the total number of base pairs which is seen in any typical mammalian cell is around 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power 9. So this is the total number of base pairs in any mammalian cell. So for a, this is a general number. Okay, so this is the total number of base pairs and what did we see in our previous slide? We saw that the distance between any two base pairs. So basically when I say between any two base pairs, I mean this distance. So this small distance we calculated as 0 0.34 nanometer. So the distance between two base pairs is equal to 0 0.34 nanometer. Right? So now if I have to calculate the length of the DNA, so let us suppose if this is the total, just for an example I'm telling, let us suppose if this is the total length of the DNA, you, we know this distance which is 0 0.34 and we also know the total number of base pairs which exist here. Right? Let us suppose if there are 20 base pairs. So what will be the total length? This will be 0 0.34 into 20. Right? So in a very similar way, we will calculate the length of DNA because the distance between the two base pairs is 0 0.34. This will be multiplied by the total number of base pairs which is equal to 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power 9. So now this is a nanometer. So if we want to convert it into meter, this will be 10 to the power minus 9. So when we calculate this, it comes out to be 2.2 meters. So this is the length of the DNA. Now what is the size of the nucleus? So normally we all know that the size of the nucleus is of the order of 10 to the power minus 6 meters. So there is a huge difference, right? DNA is 2.2 meters and nucleus size is 10 to the power minus 6 meters. So it shows that DNA length is very large, not only large but very large when compared to the size of the nucleus. But we say that DNA is located inside the nucleus. So that is so strange. So how is the DNA packed inside the nucleus? Because it, it is so big when compared to the nucleus. But we are very sure that it is located inside the nucleus. So that is where packaging, understanding how the DNA helix is packaged is becomes very, very important. So now we will see how exactly it is packaged inside the nucleus. Now let us first talk about the prokaryotes. Now why are we talking separately about prokaryotes and eukaryotes is that in both of them the entire structure inside the cell is quite different. In eukaryotes you have 
it each separate cell organelle but in prokaryotes you don't have all those things so let us first discuss about prokaryotes where do we have the dna so in case of prokaryotes the dna is organized into loops held by proteins so with the help so it is not that dna is scattered throughout inside the prokaryotic cell because in prokaryote prokaryotes you do not have membrane bound cell organelles so you might think that okay that means dna will remain scattered throughout the cell but that is not the case what happens is that dna is concentrated in one region and dna gets organized into loops so here you can see these structures the thin thread like structures which are organized in the form of loops so that is nothing but the dna now dna being negatively charged so why is dna negatively charged because of the presence of the negatively charged phosphate groups so everywhere you see a phosphate group right in the polynucleotide chain and they are all negatively charged so the dna is negatively charged and the proteins there are several proteins which are present inside which are positively charged now we all know that opposite charges attract each other so what happens dna and proteins get attracted towards each other and dna loop around the proteins and with their help they get organized into loops so the region where dna is present is termed as nucleoid so this region where most of the genetic material or most of the dna is concentrated is known as nucleoid so this is the name given to the dna rich region inside a prokaryotic cell so this is how DNA is packaged inside the nucleus. So here also the size of the nucleus is smaller than that of DNA. But how the DNA is able to accommodate because it is present in the form of a coil structure. So it is something like this. It is suppose you have a box this much big. Right. So this is the size of the box. Both these boxes are of the same size. Now in first scenario you take a very thin thread. So, I mean, it is a little thick thread, you can consider. So, it is this much in length, right? And now you want to keep this thread inside this box. Now, the length of the thread is bigger than the size of the box. So, you will not be able to keep it inside. If you want to put to keep it straight inside, then you will not be able to accommodate it. But if you coil the same thread, so even though it is thick, but you somehow coil it, so if you coil it in this form, the box will be able to accommodate it. So the similar is the concept even in this case. So the length of the DNA is very large, but DNA can be folded or it can be coiled. And that is how it is present inside the nucleus because it is coiled in, into a small or into a compact and smaller size and then it is present inside the nucleus. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.